Kyra's and welcome to October. It's Halloween month. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I created this look on my face right now using only Wet n Wild products. I used the Wet n Wild Cream Paint Palette in Neutrals from last year. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick up any this year. They were all sold out and I am so sad about it because these are amazing quality. They're so pigmented and so easy to use. You don't have to mix them with water or anything. They're just ready to go. I also have the limited edition pastels palette. As you can see, it is well loved. And then what I purchased from this year, 2019's Halloween Wet Wild collection was the Coffin Break eyeshadow palette. There was two more on the website but I couldn't find them in stores unfortunately there's a blue one that looks so beautiful if you see these in stores pick them up they're so pigmented easy to blend you won't be sorry and they're only like seven dollars I also picked up this stencil pack they had a bunch of different stencils for $3.49 I'm looking forward to doing like a mermaid or something look I also got a few of their catsuit lipsticks this one, the Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick in Blood Bank. It's like a beautiful orange. I have it on my eyes right now. That's what the pumpkin is. And it's a lipstick, but it's not bothering me. So I'm so excited because I'm going to be able to use this for eyeliner. This is it right here. It literally doesn't move once it dries. Sorry, I got eyeshadow on my hands. I also got the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick in the color Jack-O-Lantern this is it right here is this a beautiful like gloss but it has some pigment to it i'm not wearing it right now because it doesn't go with the look but it is beautiful i have tried it and love it last but not least we have the liquid catsuit metallic liquid eyeshadow in the color ghoul friend that's what's on my lips right now mixed with a little bit of the red from the neutrals palette just for the outline. Isn't it exciting that I was able to create this entire look with an eyeshadow palette and some lipsticks? A few cream paints, but you didn't need them. I was able to do the black liner on my eyes with the black from this palette. I did end up going over some of it with a black liquid liner, but it wasn't necessary. So here are the swatches, this beautiful palette right here. I'm gonna show you the swatches. I've already done them to try to speed up this video so gorgeous so pigmented you won't be sorry i'm telling you you got to pick them up so sad that almost everything was picked over and i didn't get to get more from this collection because if you don't get it when it's there it's gone until next year so definitely pick it up i'm loving these lipsticks and the liquid eyeshadows like my lips feel nice they're not dry even though this is a liquid eyeshadow I can't believe I'm able to use this liquid lipstick on my eyes. It's not irritating or anything. Maybe a dupe for the Jeffree Star. I don't know. I don't have it, but I hear that people can use Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks on their eyes because they're eye safe. I was a little hesitant to try this, but when I saw this, I'm like, orange lipstick, yeah, maybe for Halloween. Not something I'd probably wear on an everyday basis, but for an eyeliner, that would be awesome. So I wanted to do something cool for Halloween, but I'm definitely gonna try this for an eyeliner. Anyways, I'm rambling. So if you wanna see how I created this look, the bat lips and the pumpkin on the eye, please keep watching. Alrighty, let's get going with the Wet n Wild Coffin Break Palette. We're gonna go in with a nice big buffing brush, the crease brush from e.l.f. And we're gonna go in with the transition shade right here. Buff that right into the crease. I've always loved Wet n Wild shadows. They blend effortlessly. I wish I could get my hands on more. They only sell very small amounts of Wet n Wild stuff in the stores in my town. Because I'm in Canada, I just hate ordering online because it ends up costing me a fortune for shipping, for duties. It doesn't take a lot of building to get to where you wanna be. Next, we're going to go with this shade right here. Buff this right into the crease. I'm sure if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know these are my favorite kind of colors. So, of course, when I saw this palette, I had to pick it up. There was another palette, I'll put it on the screen, that was like blue shades. 
and another palette that was more of like a smoky palette. I wish I had gotten those as well. They also had so many cream paint palettes, but they were all out of stock by the time I went back. See that? It didn't take much of building at all. The pigmentation on Wet n Wild Shadows is really good. It's blending very nicely. We're going to go back in with the buffing brush in the transition shade and just buff around the edges. back up. I need to get a winter coat. I was wearing a coat from last year and it is too small on me so it kept riding up my body like I could barely zipper it. It's so embarrassing but I could barely zipper it so it kept riding up my body so I have a coat that is like probably you know just past your bum length that's now up around my belly button area and it's so bunched up around my chest area you feel like you're in a straight jacket I felt like I couldn't move I was getting so irritated on the way home because it just kept riding up because you know there wasn't enough space for the coat so it's you know riding up on my hips and my waist and stuff <sighs> Ugh. we're gonna go back in with the burgundy shade and put that on the inner and outer portion of the eye like look at the pigment one dab. I just can't believe this palette was seven dollars and I'm so upset that I didn't get the blue palette. It looks so stunning online. I wish I would have got it. Other people must have noticed the wet and wild stand before me and got there because it was so picked over. I really need replacements for my cream paint palettes. I use them to death last year they are definitely well loved like look at this one I'm almost out of almost out of this color this color this color so upsetting such nice pigmentation and so easy to use like I've tried the snazaru paints and they're all right but you have to keep dipping the paintbrush in water and wetting it and it's so annoying and these you just dip your brush in and go like look at this well loved almost every color is almost gone it's so depressing this is the only time of year you can get them so if you don't get them you're just shit out of luck I'm going with a little bit of this deeper brown and just put that out on that very edge just to deepen it up even more Chocolatey browns are not really my favorite, but this is performing great. It's not patchy at all. And then we're gonna go back over it with the burgundy because we want it predominantly burgundy. having an issue with the colors not looking blended go back with your transition shade and a big buffing brush and just kind of go over everything really buff it out I'm dying to put some of that yellow in but it does have a bit of shimmer I'm not sure if it'll translate to the eye this gold honestly is prettier than any gold I've seen in a higher-end palette and it performs amazing without glitter glue Let's go back in with the buffing brush and just try a little bit of that yellow. It's a little bit of a sheen. So I did also get the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick in the color Blood Bank. It's this gorgeous orange shade. I was hoping I might be able to use this for a liner as well. I'm not sure if they're eye safe, but I want to try it out. And I also got this Wet n Wild uh, Liquid Cat Suit mega last it's also a limited edition in the color ghoul friend this is a liquid eyeshadow it's like a metallic cranberry which is really beautiful i'm 
thinking I might use this for the pumpkin. Ooh, that's so pretty. So this is the color we're working with. Really beautiful. That would go so nice with this eye look. Or we can use Blood Bank. I wish they had more colors of this. The only other one they had was like a black with sparkles that was in stock. And I didn't grab that one. Kind of wish I had. But I've never tried the formula of these before, so I wasn't sure how they were going to perform. Look at how bright that is. Like, that is perfect for a pumpkin. All right, let's just go for it. We're going to use this for the pumpkin, and we're going to use this for the lips, even though this is for the lips and this is for the eyes. We don't follow rules here. So let's just go in and try to draw a pumpkin. very beautiful color. Instead of using the doe foot, I'm going to go in with a really nice small detailed brush. So far, no irritation to the eye. It's not burning or anything. I'm so excited about that. I really wish I was able to get more colors of these. I know Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks are eye safe, but I just can't afford to be ordering those. I'm definitely gonna have to look for more of these liquid catsuit lipsticks in more neutral colors, you know, like everyday colors as well as funky ones if I can because I'm liking how they dry down. Let's try this metallic liquid eyeshadow ghoul friend for the lips while we're letting the orange dry. Ooh, look how beautiful that is. I almost want to do orange to match the eyes. So now you know that you can use the liquid catsuit eye. If you find a liquid eyeshadow in the liquid catsuit formula, you can put it on your lips. And if you find a liquid catsuit lipstick that you want for your eyeshadow, you can use it for that as well, or an eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with the black from the Coffin Break palette and see how pigmented that is. If that doesn't work, we'll use black paint. I mean, it's tugging a little bit at the color. Look how pigmented this black is. Oh my God. wet and wild cream paint palette with this green right here green here see how smooth and easy and pigmented these are I don't even have to go back over it one swipe and you're done that, that I couldn't get more of these thing is because these are cream it can be sometimes hard to put like a shadow over top of it we're gonna go back in with the black
Wild Neutrals Cream Paint Palette with this red shade here. So we're just making the back head first. in with the Wet n Wild Ghoul Friend. I'm just gonna touch up the edges with concealer. Everybody organizes diet. See if I can use this peachy color. This is going to be my final look. I think it turned out really cool. Happy Halloween. I love SFX makeup. Give me a thumbs up if you love fun Halloween makeup. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until the next time, thank you so, so much for watching. Bye!